So on today's series of how to use AI, we are going to be discussing coming up with a movie plot and creating the screenplay. So if you notice on the first slide, ChatGPT asks, what are the genres that you admire the most? Let's create the perfect movie plot that incorporates elements from each of them. My answer is, I like thriller and mystery. ChatGPT then responds, great choices. Let's create a movie plot that blends thriller and mystery elements. To get started, one, setting. Where do you want the story to take place? For example, a bustling city, a remote village, or somewhere unique like a deserted island or a futuristic world. Characters, conflict, twist. It's asking all of these details about how do I want to craft this story. As you can see, AI is very elaborate and it has different choices and different themes that you can work on. At the bottom, it says, let's explore these elements to develop a thrilling and mysterious plot. My answer was number one, a setting is a small town in rural Georgia. And this is how ChatGPT responded. Perfect. A small town in rural Georgia provides a close-knit community vibe which can make the mystery and thriller elements even more compelling as secrets are harder to keep. Now, let's think about the characters. Protagonist. Who is the main character? Antagonist. Is there a villain? Supporting characters. These could include family members, local law enforcement, old friends, etc. Who are these individuals and what roles do they play in the story? My answer is... The protagonist is a young man named Jameson who is back to bury his grandfather who was a local cop. He is set to receive a large inheritance. The antagonist is Sheriff Brandon Schultz, an arrogant, dirty cop who murders, lies, and deceives. Supporting characters are two friends of each, all cops with mixed emotions. Now... You can see that ChatGPT has compiled this information that I gave it in the prompt, and it has responded with this. This setup is fantastic for a thrilling and mysterious narrative. Jameson, returning to his roots under the somber circumstances of his grandfather's funeral and facing the prospect of a large inheritance, is our relatable hero. His connections through his grandfather and his inheritance place him at the heart of a local intrigue. Sheriff Brandon Schultz, the corrupt lawman who epitomizes the antagonist role with his sinister actions, sets the stage for a high-stakes conflict. His position allows him to manipulate investigations and maintain controls over the town secret. And then there's supporting characters consisting of two friends aligned with each of our main characters, provides a complex web of alliances and conflicts. It shows you a plot outline, which shows you the introduction where Jameson returns to his small hometown in Georgia to bury his grandfather and deal with the will. Rising action. As Jameson begins to settle his grandfather's affairs, he uncovers discrepancies in the police records and strange behavior from Sheriff Schultz. The midpoint twist. Jameson discovers evidence linking Schultz to illegal activities and possibly to the grandfather's unexpected death. Then there's the climax. The confrontation escalates when Jameson is framed by Schultz for a crime he didn't commit. Then there's a resolution. The truth is revealed in a tense public showdown. Schultz is arrested and Jameson, though shaken, decides to stay in the town to help rebuild the trust in the local law enforcement. This is a great movie. This is something that I would definitely watch and it's something that I would like to be a uh, part of to create. And this is how you can use AI to help you move forward with creating those things that you have in your mind and in your brain. This is how we are going to create this movie. So as you see here, I told ChatGPT, this is perfect. Include an election between Schultz and Jameson where Jameson wins by one vote, but Schultz manipulates the system and wins. Include this and it's perfect to move forward. Then it stated, incorporating the election adds another layer of tension and stakes to the plot. Here's how we can weave it in. And as you see, it revised 
the whole plot outline. The introduction, Jameson returns to his small hometown to bury his grandfather, a respected former cop. He discovers that he is set to receive the inheritance and the old sheriff badge, symbolizing his deep community ties. The rise in action. As Jameson handles his grandfather's affairs, he uncovers evidence of Sheriff Schultz's corruption and illegal activities. They're nearing for an election for sheriff, and pressured by the community who revered his grandfather, Jameson reluctantly agrees to run against Schultz. Then there's a mid-plot twist. Jameson discovers his grandfather was collecting evidence against Schultz. Then at the climax on election night, the initial results show Jameson winning by a single vote. However, in a deceitful move, Schultz manipulates the voting system and declares himself as the winner. Resolution. With the help of his friends and critical evidence from his grandfather's investigation, Jameson exposes Schultz's manipulation of the election and his other crimes in a dramatic public revelation. So as you see, AI is sitting here creating this story just based off of the prompts that I'm giving it. And at the very bottom, it states, with this additional element, the narrative now not only revolves around solving the mystery and battling personal and systemic corruption, but also highlights a dramatic political showdown, raising the stakes for Jameson in the entire town. And then it asks, how does this sound for your thrilling and mysterious plot? And I state, yes. Then ChatGPT responds, great. I'm glad you're happy with the plot. If you need any further details or want to brainstorm more ideas for your movie, feel free to ask. Let's bring this thrilling story to life. So I respond, can we start working on the script? And as you see, ChatGPT says, absolutely. We can start by outlining the script. And it says we can do this for an opening scene, a discovery scene, the election announcement scene, the confrontation scene, the election night scene, the climactic reveal scene, the resolution scene. And then it states each scene will need detailed dialogue, setting descriptions and character interactions to bring it to life. Would you like to start with one of these scenes to flesh out or do you have another part of the script in mind that you're eager to work on first? So, of course, when you see this, you're going to think like, oh, my gosh, this is great. Chat GPT can do everything. It's not really that it can do everything. It's just showing you how to formulate your ideas. You have to do the work behind it. You still have to write the script. You still can get help with it. I'm going to elaborate on that right now. So as you see, I told ChatGPT, let's start with scene one. And ChatGPT said, great, let's dive into writing the opening scene for your script. And it gave a basic outline. Let's read through it. So scene one is the homecoming and the funeral. First, Jameson's car, a man in his early 30s with a somber expression driving along a scenic rural road lined with old oaks and sprawling fields. The car is packed with his belongings, indicating his move is not just for the funeral. He murmurs to himself, back to the place I swore I'd never return. The car radio plays a soft country tune that adds to the nostalgic atmosphere. Jameson turns it off, the silence weighing heavier. Then... Outside a small town, rural Georgia, the car pulls into a quaint town. The streets are quiet, with a few people nodding at Jameson as he drives by. Banners for the upcoming sheriff election flutter in the breeze, featuring Schultz's confident face. Then the grandfather's house. Jameson arrives at a well-kept but old house. He takes a deep breath before getting out of the car. The neighboring houses have signs of wear but show signs of a tight-knit community. Then we go to the grandfather's living room. The living room is filled with relatives and town folks, all gathered to mourn. Jameson's arrival draws a mixture of curious and sympathetic looks. He is met by his aunt Martha, a warm, middle-aged woman who embraces him tightly. So as you see, it's already creating the intro. It's already creating the homecoming and the funeral it's already a setting and it's very little dialogue and that's why you can't just sit back and think that this is going to create this movie although this is really great it's not the end all be all 
So it goes on to show Martha, it's good to have you home, Jamie. He would have been proud. Thanks, Aunt Martha. It's hard to be back. They slowly walk towards the manor where a picture of his grandfather and his sheriff uniform is surrounded by flowers. Martha states he left some big shoes to fill. This town hasn't been the same without him. And then it shows the grandfather's house in the backyard. He escapes the crowd to get some fresh air. He looks out over the fields behind the house, his mind racing with memories and doubts. He says, Granddad, what have you left me to find? The scene ends with Jameson's conflicted but determined gaze towards the horizon, setting the stage for the unfolding mystery. And then you see what ChatGPT says. This opening scene introduces his emotional return, the community's respect for the grandfather, and the undercurrents of tension related to the upcoming election. How does this setup feel? Would you like to adjust any details of dialogue? I stated, that's great, next scene. And ChatGPT automatically starts working on the next scene. So ChatGPT says, fantastic. Let's move on to scene two where Jameson begins to uncover some unsettling truths about his grandfather's past and Sheriff Schultz's involvement in local corruption. Then it starts to carve out scene two. It states that they're going to be at the grandfather's study, the room dimly lit, filled with bookshelves, a large oak desk, and framed photographs of the family and the town's history. He enters, a glass of whiskey in his hand, still dressed in the funeral attire. So many memories in here, he states. He began to sort through his grandfather's desk. He finds a locked drawer. After a moment of hesitation, he picks up a letter opener and jimmies the lock open. Inside, he finds official documents and a leather-bound journal. What are you hiding, Granddad? Jameson sits down and begins flipping through the journal. His eyes widen as he reads entries detailing his grandfather's growing suspicions about Sheriff Schultz's illegal activities, including bribery and evidence tampering. Schultz is up to no good. Can't prove it yet, but he's dirty. Must keep digging before it's too late, he thinks to himself. The sound of footsteps causes Jameson to snap the journal shut. He quickly hides it and his Aunt Martha enters. You shouldn't be alone in here digging through old ghosts. Come join us, Jamie. Just lost in thought, Aunt Martha. I'll be right there. Martha exits, leaving Jameson to ponder his next moves. I need to find out the truth for Granddad for this town. He stands tucking the journal into his jacket, a determined look on his face as he heads out of the study. This is bigger than I thought, but I can't turn back now. So as you see, AI is creating this story very detailed. This is a very good script. It's not great. There can be a lot more details involved. There can be a lot more dialogue. There can be a uh, snappier setup, snappier story. But as of what we're doing right now, this is awesome. We're getting the story, we're getting our plot, and we are writing a script. Then I state, I like it. Let's continue. So ChatGPT states, great to hear you liked it. Let's continue by crafting scene three. And then you can see where it crafts scene three as the election announcement where we're at Town Hall, and it's an old brick building set in the heart of the town with a large oak tree in front. People from the community, young and old, are gathered for a town meeting. Jameson is among them, looking uneasy but resolute. So as you see, it's already creating these vivid visual uh, views for this script. It shows that there's a mayor, Mayor Henderson, a jovial yet stern figure in his late 50s, steps up to the podium. He taps the microphone, silence in the room. Thank you, everyone, for coming. As you know, the election for our new sheriff is upon us. It's a pivotal time for our town, especially after mm, recent events. So this is why ChatGPT is the future. It is the future for all things because when we're writing this script right here, we can take this idea and we can go create something fantastic from it. So as you see, we've started scene four, which is the confrontation. Chat GPT has created this confrontation. If you want to pause the screen 
and watch it. I won't uh, keep going over the words and the dialogue. This video from this point on is just going to show you how to actually take this information and create something great. So as you see, this is the rest of scene four. And it asks, how does this scene fit into the escalating tension you envision for the story? So I said, it's good. It needs more sketchy material and subject matter between Schultz and Jameson. And it said, certainly, we can enhance that. And it revised that whole scene for us. So if you look right here, this is the revised scene of scene four, the confrontation. So there's a difference now in the actual script. OK, in this one, he has a friend that kind of comes at him and says, hey, man, don't mess with Schultz. You're in deep trouble. And so it just continues. He has a confrontation with Schultz. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, it states Sheriff Schultz told him, keep digging, boy. But remember, some holes are graves. With a final menacing glance, Schultz and his deputy leave the diner. The threat hangs heavily in the air. So it's creating this tension between these two characters, the protagonist and the antagonist. And then we get to scene five because I did say, hey, let's continue. And so we go to scene five, which is the election night. And here you see the script for scene five. And so scene five highlights the election night. It shows some different uh, interactions between the crowd and Jameson and Schultz. And then you can see where it also has Mayor Henderson uh, reading the results. Uh, just like we stated earlier, Jameson won, but some stuff happened, and Schultz ended up taking the victor. Be, uh, he ended up taking the win and becoming the victor. Then you got in scene six, there's a climactic reveal where there's some documents that comes out, and Jameson... Uh, states that he, he can prove that he rigged the election. There's a lot going on with the election results and the local newspaper. And then in scene seven, it states that, you know, he's leaving the police office and he's at his desk and, you know, he is it, showing pretty much that he won and kicked Schultz out. And then if you look right here at the bottom, you can see where I put, I would like to create the final scene where some evidence comes out that gets Schultz arrested and Jameson finds a love interest from the department that's been there before, but no one saw it. So it created this love interest, which they labeled as Deputy Emma. But of course, this is just chat GPT going off of the prompts that we gave it. So it's really up to you to go in and detail out your story, detail out your script, uh, do those little things that you know you want in that movie to create the thriller and mystery of it. And so here I told it, let's get one compiled script. And so it gave us like more of an outline. It listed each scene and what was going on at the different places in the scene. It just gave us a quick overview. This is something a lot of writers probably would write first before they actually start writing the script. But however, this is how ChatGPT gave it to us, and then it does a fade out. And so what I did at this point was I took the whole script, and I copied and pasted it, and I put it all together on this form. And you can see that I put the plot first, so you could just actually see the different scenes. And then it goes into the full script that chat GPT created. And at this point, I started to print it because I wanted to make sure I print it out and I have it physically in front of me when I start working on my script. So now I'm going to start actually working on my script, okay? I'm just taking chat GPT and I'm taking the AI and I'm just looking at how it created it and I'm coming up with my own ideas off of it, based off of it and how to write it. And I'm going to use my own format and my own details to carve out my story, okay? So this is my opening scene to the movie that I am going to create based off of what I just uh, had AI create. This is how I'm going to change it around, okay? So first, we're going to be at Harlem Town, Georgia. It's an aerial view of the scenic rural road lined with oak trees and fields of grains as far as the eyes can see. 
one sole car traveling into the small town. He's hauling ass. Then we pan in on Jameson's car, a man in his late 30s listening to a soulful jazz tune dressed in a suit and tie. He has a stern but focused look on his face. He passes a sign, Harlem Town ahead, reduced speed limit. He doesn't obey as he passes a cop car that's camped out behind the sign. The cop rushes out and pulls him over. His face hasn't changed one bit. Cut to the cop car. Number 99 to dispatch. A clock one doing 95 and a 55. Stand by for driver's information. She exits her car and walks towards Jameson's car. He rolls down his windows. She's in shock and awe, but in a good way. At Jameson's car, continues. Holy shit, if it ain't Jameson Davis, number six on the Forbes Top 100 Lawyers list. Jameson smirks with a slight smile. Layla Green, Harlem Town's forever prom queen. Well, it's Layla Jones now. His smile leaves. Derek and I got married. You remember Derek Jones, don't you? Y'all played basketball together, right? Yeah, I do. We did. Uh, well, the reason I pulled you over today was Jameson stares into her eyes with a deep look to tell you that I'm sorry for your loss. Mayor Davis meant a lot to this city, and I know that's why you're back. But slow this thing down. The sheriff wants us to give out tickets to anyone going more than two miles over the speed limit. The sheriff? You mean your father-in-law? Yes. Well, write me the ticket. I'll be on my way. Slow down, okay? Jameson drives off. She watches him for a brief moment. He looks back in his rear view. You always knew how to break a man's heart. Her radio starts to go off. Dispatch 3 to 99. Still standing by. Do you require backup? Over. 99 to dispatch 3. Disregard that last transmission. Radio malfunction. Over and out. Cut the black. So in conclusion... Using AI to create film scripts can be exciting and innovative. They can offer unique perspectives and fresh ideas that might not have emerged from traditional methods. AI can swiftly analyze vast amounts of data, enabling it to generate intriguing plot lines and dialogue for your movies. However, relying solely on AI for the entire script overlooks the crucial human touch that's needed to infuse depth, emotion, and authenticity into the storytelling aspect. By incorporating personal experiences, emotions, and imagination, filmmakers can breathe life into characters and narratives, resonating more deeply with their audiences. Also, utilizing AI to plagiarize undermines the creative process and artistic integrity. Plagiarism diminishes the originality and effort that artists invest in their works. Therefore, while AI can enhance creativity, it's essential to integrate AI-generated content with human insight and ethical practices to achieve truly meaningful and original results in filmmaking. Like, comment, subscribe, watch my channel. I will be posting more. Again, this is the first series of learning how to use AI and implementing what we learn with AI. I hope you guys had a great time. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. We have much more to come.